leave this year, which goes with our um, name, Leia, which is Hawaiian for mythological gods and canoe builders. Our goals were to get, to get a really lightweight canoe, to reduce, to reduce, this, um, to reduce um, construction costs and increase speed and performance. To increase speed and performance, we sorry, we redesigned the whole of our canoe and we made it uh, a rounded bottom and a modified hole, a modified excuse me, a modified. allows for, um, for ease of paddling and increased maneuverability and, sustain and, um, and stabilization and also reduces drag through the water because of the reduced surface area of the um, wetted. Yeah. Loading process was conducted with a software package called Dubship. Dubship allowed us to analyze the forces acting on the, on the side walls of the canoe as well as to determine our maximum draft of eight inches. We then analyzed our canoe as a beam and four pin supports acting as a rower in a distributed buoyant force counteracting their weight. We designed our screen reinforcement with basalt mesh, which is, uh, has similar properties to fiberglass, however, is um, manufactured in a sustainable manner. We decided to place our, our screen on the outer edges of our canoe in order to provide maximum res um, reinforcement to both positive and negative components. Uh, the three-quarter inch hole bottom tapered up to half an inch on the sidewall in order to maximize strength in areas of high stresses while uh, minimizing overall weight. Our mix design was conducted through test, research, literature, and uh, file back to our testing. Our team uses a, uh, an Excel spreadsheet which we have compiled in order to estimate density and uh, characteristics of our concrete. As you can see in the green shaded areas, our structural concrete composed of about 60 percent recycled materials by volume. Our most common aggregate is uh, glassy spheres, which are about half of the volume and a quarter of the total mass. We went with a um, female mold system this year, which is similar to last year's, except due to the curved cross section, we designed a six piece mold system. 23 AutoCAD files were, um, were cut on a plywood section and assembled using one foot space. We then installed aluminum flashing in order to give the shape of our canoe. Aluminum flashing also served as a, a weak bond between the concrete and allowed us to, to separate our mold without the use of a laser. Before placing concrete, we pre-tensioned a layer of basalt fiber using grain screws. The grain screws also serve as a, a depth gauge in order to, for quality control. On January 2nd, 18 of our members participated in the pouring of Leia. Three teams of mixing, pouring, and quality control was what made this go so quickly. We then cured our canoe using an automated hydration system which recycled water throughout the canoe to keep it moist for 26 days. This allowed us to work on other aspects of the canoe, um, such as this way. Our canoe was broken in 26 days, it was broken from the mold in 26 days, and the next phases of patching and sanding were done. We uh, designed the skin coat based off of our structural mix, however, we, we replaced our porcelain with recycled glass to improve workability. What really made us stand out this year was our elaborate display. We used last year's steel bridge in order to uh, cradle the canoe as a hammock. We, um, unfortunately, while transporting our cutaway section to the display today, a shark bit our canoe, showing all of our layers in our canoe. Uh, our cost was at about thousand dollars, which is relatively inexpensive for the production of this size. As you can see, we've improved in many ways since last year's canoe, and we hope to to still a foundation here at the Fannie FSU College of Engineering.